scent and a bottle design. Curious wins for me. So Radiance was launched in 2010.
bass notes are vanilla, patchouli, musk, and amber. Wow, there's fruit, there's flowers, and there's musk. No wood, though. Oh, there's Rihanna. Smelling a flower, she's got red hair. This bottle is supposed to resemble a high yell shoe, and these are like ribbons. This beautiful brown amber bottle is a unisex fragrance, and in some ways it is similar to that, but it's much, much better. It's better balanced. I actually wore this for a little while today. so simple and elegant. It looks beautiful as a decoration. And the top is plastic. It has the signature Fenty design, which is so elegant and classy.
Fox fragrance is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. It came out in 2011, but it's not made anymore, so it was hard to find. It's another iconic bottle. A bit of pop culture history for sure. down, I really kind of like it. It's, it's like a perfume bottle and jewelry. I do wish that they had either made this more readable or just left it off the bottle because a simple bottle is more elegant than just having writing on it sometimes. The top has a gold seal that says 13. It's an eau de parfum by Billie Eilish. They came out in 2021. It's her first fragrance called Eilish. And she now has a second one called Eilish Number 2, I think. So just like the Fenty perfume, this is for all genders, for everyone. And it is a finer fragrance. Fenty is extremely fine. It's very expensive. A couple of decades ago, celebrity fragrances were about more like selling the celebrity, and they still are, but the quality of the fragrance was less of a concern than it is today. Today you find celebrities putting out high-quality fragrances, and also gearing towards not just masculine or feminine, something that everyone can wear. Celebrities 
myself. There's probably more to it that I don't know. That's just an observation. The nose behind this fragrance is Steve de Mancardo. Top notes are sugar, red berries, and mandarin orange. spicy notes in rose. And at the base we have tonka bean. Tonka bean, amber, musk, and woody notes. Sounds like a good fragrance. We'll see. So the bottle is shaped like Billy's neck, face, and chest area, kind of similar to when Kim Kardashian came out with that perfume bottle of her body. situated in there. Frosted glass. The whole bottle is about a slant down. It smells really good. I'm getting, I got the vanilla right away. Oh wow. That's something. I'm letting it dry it down. It's very strong. Way sweeter than I expected, especially for a non-gendered fragrance. The vanilla and the cacao are really a huge part of it. I mean, top notes are sugar, so I don't know why. I'm surprised by the sugar. Definitely smelling sweet. But it's very complex. Can get a bit 
this right after looking at Eilish, and it seems like she was referencing this in some way. What do you think? I think so. So. Nicki Minaj in purple. Other side, same thing. And a photo of Nicki on the back. And a cotton candy pink wig. Light, I like the white the pink lipstick. Dramatic lashes. She looks like a robot. She's got this pink helmet here, a gold face, a frosted glass body, and so this may be my favorite part. It's a real Nicki Minaj nameplate necklace.
sides are matte Have you ever 
It's pretty cute. It's a little kitty cat. And it has jewelry too. And M for meow. And so it doesn't have a lot of detail, but there is a tail on the back. In the bottom, it's a metallic plastic. It has intentions to represent legs. by Apple Beauty. Again, a floral fruity gourmand. Very popular with celebrity fragrances. I don't know when this came out. It says artwork donated by Kesha. Red 
raspberry neroli in the middle is orange blossom and Egyptian jasmine. I love the bottle more than more than the smell. also designed to not have a note hierarchy like most perfumes where you have top, middle, and base. They are all supposed to blend together at once. like vain even though it looks even though the soul is black 
This is Kim Kardashian's first fragrance gold. So, obviously she named it gold because she wanted it to represent luxury. It's intended for hot summer. It starts with bergamot. Jasmine, Tinder Rose, and Violet. At the base we have a Julie Sandalwood, Amber, and Creamy Benzoin, and Musk. Benzoin has a rich, intensely warm, powdery balsamic. So Benzoin has a balsamic vanilla like aroma subtle spicy cinnamon undertone that's interesting. I don't know much about that. It's a balsamic resin also described as woody. This came out in 2011. It's still manufactured unlike our other perfumes that came out a few years ago and are no longer available. It's a black bottle. sharp and strong, like overpowering. As it dries down, I'm starting to get some of the flowers and the vanilla, but it's so overwhelming. Sounds nice, though. Legible 
actually in the little drawer on the Chloe one. This is a collab with the older sisters. Oh yeah, they had those crystal ones as well, but as a bottle, I like the way it looks. It's very simple. A pink diamond. This is glass and this is plastic. sweet floral. I kind of love it. The boxes for these were so big. Like, these are little. They kind of little bottles. Why the box is so big, you guys? It's very green smelling. It smells like spring. So, I don't know. Top notes are tropical floral leaves. It's sugar cookies.
eyes, yellow jasmine, yellow bird magnolia, and yellow black iris. The finish is a white patchouli, soft musk, and a whipped vanilla. Judging from the vanilla and the patchouli alone, I don't think I would like it that much, but I'm often surprised by those notes as well, so it's a mystery. A mystery, my friend. soft and feminine. Not overpowering. And these are some of the follow-up fragrances. They're modeled on the same bottle design. They're so cute together. So this one is called Ari and, and it's an eau de buffon. And at the top we have crispy pear and pink grapefruit. Then there's juicy raspberry, soft mugette, and rosebud. We have vanilla orchid, marshmallow, creamy musk, and blonde woods. It's a really great mix. We have fruit, sweet woods, a little bit of floral. It's lovely. Nothing. It's a great balance. So this one with an iridescent jean.
so thank you next is the broken heart kind of looks like an egg plastic holder and the bottle is this beautiful glass Raspberry, peony, blue. 
some of the flat surfaces on this one that I didn't notice at first. At first glance, I thought it was all indentions, but no, there's all these little circles. That's flat. This is one of my favorite bottles ever, I think.
itself is so delicate. And we have all these treasures inside to inspect. Treasure inspector. Okay, so inside this
Shoulders was launched in 1945, and I think that's where I think that's the era that these two bottles are from. The notes are out of hides, African orange flower, green notes, peach, and bergamot, lilac, gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, lily, lily of the valley, iris, spices. It's a 
so cute. I'm not sure the name of the fragrance, but it's from Estee Lauder Private Collection, and it looks fairly aged, so it's got that amber liquid in the frosted bottle. so gorgeous. They're like little dresses. Okay, thanks for spending time with me again. I can't wait to share more treasures and curiosities and oddities and lovely things with you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Hey friends, welcome back to Lynn Cinnamon. Thank you. 
I chose.
looks just like the pink one. Beautiful on a vanity. Mermaid is in the same pose as well on the topper. I think this is made of plastic. It's meant to look a little metal-ish, but it's not very shiny. Very intricate though. You can see that the mermaid has an armband. Like some sort of jewelry. I love the detailing of the glass, the ridged glass. It's not wise to judge a perfume by the bottle, but that's exactly why I picked the ones I picked. I ended up, though, falling in love with Chloe. I just love this fragrance, and I wish I had a bigger bottle, but, you know, maybe in the future.
show you today. And this is quite sensual. It's not overpowering though. It's it's really a lovely, lovely fragrance.
sense of smell. But the bottle is really beautiful and elegant. It looks nice on a vanity. Soothing. 
spending time with me again. You know I'll be back with you with some more fun and relaxing things. I hope that your brain is more at ease than it was before you came. Now, with this gorgeous perfume decanter, I'm going to fill it up with the perfume that I have with the um, spray nozzle. Isn't it? 
It's starting to get pretty full. I don't know if I can fill up the entire thing, but...
style than high ponytails, I feel like really fit the retro and futuristic aesthetic. <laughs> so, really cool.
Mostly clear, but I 
future.
Smelling it on my on my neck. Let me put some on my arm. 
reminds me of the good parts of being 12 and 13 and 14. Like good moods and dreaming of, uh, of things and trying to figure out who you are. Now decades later I'm still trying to figure out who I am.
shoulders white shoulders 
de parfum be 
like a girl new type of fragrance, which it was for me. But I'll talk more about that later. Alien came out in 2005. That's quite a huge span. And it's also quite an interesting scent. Um, neither one of these could have a good first impression for me, but they both... Um, I guess <laughs> once I got to know them, I really, really love them dearly. It's like a lot of people, a lot of interesting people. They might not come off very well at first, maybe too strong or too odd, but uh, maybe too different, too alien. But um, sometimes people like that, once you get to know them, they are the best and they become your favorite people. So that's how I like to think of these fragrances. Um, still, everyone's made different and some of us just aren't made to like certain um, perfumes and fragrances, so, but this right here, I love this box because it's like a drawer, you see, and it's very sturdy. shower milk. So the notes on this are jasmine, amber, and wood. And then this bottle right here is the beautifying body lotion.
part of what makes it be described that way to some, or experienced that way to some, is precisely what makes it so challenging and odd. A little bit like decay. Wet earth. Also smells like food, like chocolate. that it does. 
doesn't smell as sickly sweet to me as when I first sprayed it on some paper. It really is an interesting scent. So you have all the points of the star in this glass bottle.
to use them extremely sparingly, but these are very long lasting.
those was
smell. 